progress down to the nose band and he's just got a cavison nose band on today it has got a flash attachment and we've got a crank nose band which enables us to take the nose band a little bit tighter than just a plain cabison. Now I want that quite snug so I want one to two fingers in that cabison. Again checking that the keeper's neatly in and then I'm going around to the front of the horse to check that the nose band is fitting nice and level, brow band's level. I'm happy with the cheek pieces. With a guide to the width of the bit in the horse's mouth, we're trying to allow a little finger between the lips and the actual cheeks of the bit, or a quarter of an inch. So this bit is a little bit on the snug side but it hasn't caused any pinching on the lips and also he's got quite saggy lips to be fair so I'm happy with the fitting of the bit we've got a curb chain we want to make sure that the curb chain isn't twisted we want it lying flat into the curb groove and I'm going to put the curb chain on the third link so that's a correct fitting. So that when the bit actually comes into action, you can see that there is a little bit of a squeezing and a one finger between the curb chain when it actually comes into action. So when the shaft of the pelum is pulled back on the bottom rein, the, the curb chain will tighten on the curb groove and that will give you extra leverage and extra braking. Also, there'll be a little bit of downwards pressure on the pole. So for some horses, that will encourage the, the pole and the head carriage, carriage of the horse to lower.